check it out. I have been working on something I want to share with you, and um, this is it. This is the intro. This is part one. So the SEO heist from start to finish. What have I been doing? I've been really stagnant. It's because I've been out there building, uh, and now that I'm starting to gain some traction with the work that I'm doing, I want to share it with you so that you can do it as well. I'm creating a video series. I'm bringing AI into your day-to-day -day business. But instead of just theorizing and saying, okay, you could use AI to do this, I'm actually gonna walk you through all of, this, all of the different steps so that we can get there um, and you can follow along on a practical guide to pulling off a content heist, but not only using AI in such a way that the old methods, the, the manual methods that we used to do become obsolete. So we're gonna learn what's working right now, what's not. We're gonna implement something from start to finish on a real life project. Um, we're gonna reset that competitor dynamic, starting from absolute zero and carving out a share of market for ourselves. And we're gonna position ourselves in the future in a world where AI is gonna take over and we need to be ready for it and creating our assets uh, beforehand. What's it gonna look like in a true fashion? There's well, 12 parts, 11 plus this on every single aspect of pulling off a, an SEO heist or a content heist. We're going to look at way more than just SEO. We're going to look at the entire channel, the entire funnel, and how to actually build out something that looks more like this, where we have paid ads, content, outreach partnerships, and we touch on everywhere to bring in sales. Now, this will work on pretty much any business that's online and digital, but I'll get into that later. So what am I doing in the video series? If you want to check out here, I will share this whole thing on TL Draw later or down in the comments, I think. And now's a good time. If you're going to go look at the comments, go give this a like and a comment and just let me know what you think. And uh, also subscribe. We're going to do some pre-planning. So that's the initial stage where the idea for the heist is conceived. So the mastermind, which is going to be us. We're going to assemble our teams, set the objectives and go, you know, get that cash. We're going to identify the goals for our content heights, such as you know grabbing our traffic, uh, outranking competitors, taking a market share, saturating our impression footprint. Then we're going to move on to recruitment. So traditionally, this recruitment would be something like, let's grab some content writers, some SEO, some PPC guys. Let's um, get a full stack developer like me to come in and build something, you know, uh, some sort of agency. But actually, what we can do is leverage not just that, but tools, techniques, and random knowledge from people like me that are doing videos, what you can do in the recruitment phase. Then we're gonna case the joint. Um, so we're gonna you know, gather information about the target or target. So we're gonna look at our competitors. We're gonna to use tools like SEMrush to look at gap analysis, uh, keyword reports, and work out where we need to be relative to our competitors and you know, how to bridge that gap using uh, the tools that we, we sort out. We're going to go in, then into a detail plan. So we're going to draw up these uh, timelines, roles, contingencies for when things don't go right. So I'm hypothesizing as well to say, okay, like in the best case scenario, this is going to happen. Worst case scenario, this. And then we plan for all of these different setups there. Um, so we're going to have a detailed plan for your content creation. So topics, keywords, um, content hubs as well. Types of content we'll produce. So we'll start with articles. We'll start with short form, long form, video as well, and audio. It's all possible now with AI, definitely. And also think about you know like the editing process and any nuances that we have. For, for example, you might need legal to go look at every single piece of content that's going to push out. So if you're pushing out thousands of pieces of content, we then need to be able to help our wider team, not just in digital, but across the board, so that they're not inundated with an absolute ton of work and it becomes too expensive to do. We look at acquiring the tools. So you know, if you're you're breaking into a vault, you're gonna need someone that's got the drill, that's got the expertise, that's hacking, that can get through to security. It's the same for us, but well, you know, we need we need to set the stage. We need a CMS or a site, you know, WordPress or Next.js, React, uh, Webflow, whatever we're gonna use. We need to know the APIs to interact with those. Uh, we need to know the scripts that we're gonna do. So there's gonna be a ton of JavaScript in this. Um, you can follow along, and I'll also show you other tools that you can do if you don't want to code your own, but this is to build something yourself that you can add on to, to strap onto, to improve over time so you're not at the mercy of these tools. Then we're going to do a rehearsal. So the worst thing you could probably do in this content uh, series is take everything that you think is going to work and just put it onto your live site, especially if you're, you know, you're working for a business, they have an asset that's already churning out revenue for customers. Please, please do not <laughs> just take what you've learned and throw it as a test onto that. You need a test bed, you need a staging site, you need something to say, okay, look, 
I think this is how we're going to do it. I've got everything sorted. Let's test our confidence strategy on a small scale and then refine that everything works. Um, and I'll show you how to do that. Uh, this is where it starts getting really interesting. Next up is the actual carrying out of the heist, the execution. So this is creating and publishing the content, giving the index, shipping it to the different tra uh, traffic platforms we have. So, you know, how do we create video and Facebook and TikTok? And how do we use APIs to push those there? How do we um, programmatically check that everything is working uh, from an SEO point of view and further on, how like look at the analytics, etc. Let's set all of that up. A lot of this comes from the rehearsal as well. And then the execution is really game plan at scale. Let's go for it. After the heist, we need to escape without getting caught. Once we, we've pulled up the heist, we've, we've magically reset the balance so that our competitors market share has been brought down or our market share has been brought up, or at least we're in the process of that. If people are looking at us, they're going to notice that, you know, we're doing something here. Like the site is different. How are they putting out so much content? What are they doing here? What's going on? Even though you've done a ton of rehearsal and execution, you've planned everything right. There might be things that are going wrong. So this is how to remedy that. Um, one of the most difficult things is to post humorously go back and edit content at scale. So we need to really catch as much of this as possible. And um, we don't want to be caught with our pants down. Then, you know, the last three are like laying low. Really about monitoring and setting up for the next one. So how is our content faring? What do we need to do there? Um, what adjustments do we need to do without drawing attention to ourselves or our strategy? Like how can we do this in such a way that even if our competitors were going to go look at everything that we were doing, they wouldn't know the whole picture and whatever they would try is um, it's only a part of it, it's like the iceberg, right? If we think about this as the iceberg, you want your competitor to see maybe just this part, but actually, you know, the money maker is, um, is in the rest of it down here. And I'll walk you through how to look at that. This is really, you know, looking at the content uh, results, such as, you know, did we get an increase in market share? Did we get increased traffic? Is our impression footprint grown? in such a way that we should do this again. And um, it's gonna inform our future strategy. So, you know, you're not just gonna do this one and done. Definitely, like, having a growth mindset is about trying, trying, trying. So back to the diagrams, if we try in so many different times on loads of different experiments, this heist is just one of them. And you know, you wanna find that one heist out of all of the group that it does really well. And then you want to replicate it. So okay, okay, next time I'm going to do more blue heists, for example. And then, you know, disbanding is, uh, <laughs> at the end of the film, the team disbands, goes to separate ways. And, you know, this is, we've completed the heist, it's running, it's on to the next thing, onto the next bit of AI. And that will be, for me, the next video series, the next piece of work for the client, and the, uh, the next innovation. So, yeah, that's everything that I'm going to cover in 12 very long uh, parts of video series over the next couple months i hope if that's interesting to you at all then again give us a like let me now know down in the comments what you want to work on and how this might help you and you know subscribe as well it's a really good way to catch it i also put a link to discord down in the bottom which isn't so active but we have some really smart guys in there so i'm going to be posting as much as i can related to this down there in discord somewhere um, so who am I quickly and why should you care about this I realized that throughout all my videos I've not told you what my background is or the, what I'm working on or why I'm not just some random guy that's doing stuff and that's fine for some people but here's the quick background so my name is Doug Doug Silkstone um, originally from UK but now expat I started off in marketing and then I pivoted into full-stack development um, especially with automation and performance marketing I definitely have a no BS approach. Um, so everything that you have in here is gonna be straight, practical, hands-on, get shit done knowledge. I sit between not just development or marketing, but you know, product ops as well. So if you're not from the same background as I am, you're still gonna get value from all of this. I'm gonna to touch on what it means for your CFO, for your legal team, for your content team, for hiring, for what you should look at as a hire, what you definitely can avoid now with uh, you know the case of AI and what we can bring in to subsidize our, any overheads that we traditionally had. And why am I positioned to be able to tell you about this? I'm a full stack developer, an entrepreneur. I've had four exits right now, all based on automation. And this was before there was even an AI, definitely. I've always believed that automation is the key to seeming bigger than you are. 
to growing something that's bigger than the sum of yourself without having a massive team. And um, my mission now, I mean, it's like you guys, right? So I want total mainstream AI adoption. I want AI to come and take away all of the boring, monotonous trials and tribulations that humans face. It's tough. It's very tough to look at the future and say, okay, is this gonna work for us? Or is this gonna be a benefit? Or are people gonna lose their jobs? Are people gonna be displaced completely? What's gonna happen? Let's have some bar graphs here. Maybe because you're watching this video, you're similar to me. This bar graph represents, let's see how different colors. This could be like your earnings potential. We all start out, you know, pretty low when we're born and then they increase, increase, increase. Um, then you pick up certain skills that maybe let you push ahead of some other people. There's always gonna be these guys up here that have been, you know, they're in the business for three times as long as you've even been alive on the planet. You don't be able to catch up to them. But what AI is doing is that the skill gap between you and people that don't have earning potential. So a junior developer now is, is probably not gonna be able to do the same thing as a senior, but in the future, if you're just telling AI to go do something and you can speak to it in terms of pseudocode and you can bypass the entire knowledge pit that I have, then suddenly, you know, everyone's skill is up, which, you know, makes that gap extremely small. And I wanna do something about that. My mission now, it's total mainstream AI adoption. So I wanna build tools that bridge this cost to quality gap. I wanna make them as practical as possible so that we can start using AI in real world context. And I wanna push what's possible with AI. Whatever we were building now, it wasn't possible 12 months ago. Uh, <laughs> it's definitely not the cost that we have. And in the next 12 months, we're, everything that we're talking about right now is gonna be completely changed, but we should be doing something about it. I also, you know, selfishly, and I think a lot of people watching this are also in the same mindset. I was watching Interstellar recently and realized I could probably live on a farm pretty comfortably too. So there's that. Uh, build my fifth exit, maybe pivot into property, live on a farm potentially. Like if you are an Interstellar fan, you'll know that you know, farm is a, <laughs> a well needed. And I feel that anything physical, if you're not just a pixel, pusher like I am, being in a physical space is probably a good shout. Uh, that's what my mission is. I want to make some bang before AGI makes me obsolete and probably retire with an army of robots. So they're doing everything for me. That's the plan. And I really, I want to build my exit number five. Um, I want to maybe pivot into something else that's more physical space, something hardware, property. Let's grab it by the horns, both of them, and do everything we can to lift ourselves up and make bank whilst we can. That's me, but who are you and why might this be for you? Well, if you're curious about AI in real world scenarios and you actually want to do practical, hands-on implementations of AI, we're gonna do that definitely from start to finish. Pause this now if you wanna take a quick look. This is you know the, the content funnel that we're gonna start building on. Um, it looks like a lot of work, but Traditionally, you would have to do this yourself or you would pay a team to do it and you wouldn't have the same quality or output or speed. We're gonna get AI to do everything here to, to level up our business and on autopilot whilst we sleep. So really it's about resetting the competitive dynamic. If you're interested in maybe this has the market share, that's like your competitor, this is you here. There's this gap and we want to shrink that gap as much as possible by growing um, and maybe you know even reset it so that we are, we're on level peggings with our competitors. And the way that we do that, especially if competitors are much larger, if they've been in the space longer, or they have, they just have the drop on you. Um, we want to bridge the gap between the cost, like how much it costs to do this, and the quality as well. So if we think you know we have cost and quality, it's pretty uh, pretty much like this, you know, cost. Quality as quality goes up, the cost increases as well. Um, what we actually want to do is have quality as high as possible, but costs a re relatively the same. If you want to get first move at advantage on this, you know, if you're watching a video on AI right now, you're talking about AI. You're on Twitter. You're t in this space. You're, you know, you're consuming all of the tech bro stuff. You're looking at everything. You've got Nvidia stocks. <laughs> You are part of the minority, definitely. And uh, the regular person right now working their job doesn't even have this on the radar. They've heard about it, but it's not their space. This is our space. So let's get the first mover's advantage. 
and you know, finally, you definitely need outside the box thinking. You need to be able to you know, go into something and say, look, I have a growth mindset. I'm going to try this. It might not work, but if it doesn't work, I'm going to try something else. If it doesn't work, I'm going to try something else. And you're going to keep iterating on your, you know, you've got data and you've got a good gut feeling. It can show you what's working, what's not. And together we can work out how to make AI work for us. If you're looking for get rich quick schemes or you're just wanting to spam Google, don't do it. Don't be spammy. If you don't care about quality, this isn't a channel for you. There are some things we do quickly um, to do proof of concepts fast and I'll say, hey, don't worry about what it looks like. It's just this because X, Y, Z. But at the end of the day, we are aiming for quality. We want low cost, high quality. We don't want low cost, low quality. That's another channel, I'm sure. I'm that's not for us. If you've got a fixed ment uh, mindset mentality, so you won't enjoy this. I promise you, you're much better off going to, I don't know, a done for you service. I promise that you're going to feel frustrated or fed up. I can show you all the techniques, but you need to essentially work out what's working for yourself. Also, if you have limited technical skill, really helps if you know some JavaScript. I'll probably even share a lot of code that you can use as well. But if you don't consider yourself technical, you could be sat in the middle here. So if you don't consider yourself technical right now, but you are interested in doing this, come on board, definitely. You can pick up some technical skills, whether that's, you know, like analytical or uh, technical marketing, martech stuff, or data analysis, or picking up small bits of JavaScript as you follow along. Absolutely, come join the team. If you're not interested in that, and uh, you just need a done for you solution, hire me. <laughs> is the answer really I'm, I'm more than happy to do all of this for you as a client um, but you know you really need to decide which side you're on for that this is what we're going to be building this is ripped straight from a guy on YouTube I can't remember his name but he did some really great content just this week so much so that I, um, I wanted to, to repurpose it for my own I'm going to again link this video down in the description because he definitely needs the, the kudos for how great this is. But it's essentially about, you know, how do we automate our entire funnel so that we can hit Facebook, video, programmatic, Instagrams, articles, Twitter, YouTube, TikTok, LinkedIn, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, typically, this is the job of 15 to 1,000 people, depending on how big your business is. Uh, but we're going to do this high quality, low cost with AI involved so that you can take your entire business from start to finish in a very solid content strategy setup or the digital strategy setup. The tactics here for the entire channel spectrum, not just SEO content. It's also going to be buying traffic, um, creating these funnels, um, email automation, etc. And I'm going to do this for myself. And you can follow along with me whilst I do it. Um, so I've got absolute tons to show you what I want to do um, if you again this is like the third time of the video that I'm gonna be saying subscribe please I think I'm on like 870 something right now I want to see 1,000 subscribers and once I've hit 1,000 subscribers all this video content is coming out definitely if you want it earlier join discord again down in the comments I'm gonna be active on discord starting from today where I'm gonna post this video that's pretty much all all I want to do right now is to introduce you to everything that we're doing. There are others on YouTube that are doing stuff like this, but they're not doing it to the degree, or the technical degree or the, the background that I've come from. I want to learn from you guys as much as possible and share my knowledge because it's fun for me. I'm like, I enjoy this. I, I'm not great at it, but I definitely enjoy sharing. So I, I want to walk through all of my ramblings, everything that's going on here. Uh, I want to help you to bring in AI and smash it as best as possible. And the best way that I can do that is to show you start to finish. What am I doing for my clients? How can you do it yourself? And, you know, if, if you want me to do it for you, I'll do it for you. Definitely. But let's learn. Let's learn together. Cool. So anyway, that's me done. I'm going to go edit this video really quickly. And uh, the link's in the description below. If you like it, please give it a like. If you like it please comment it feels really good and it really encourages me to do more when you're telling me that you know this is something that you want to learn from if i have information that i can give to you then i'm going to do it I mean, all you have to do is ask i found that the more that i ask the more that i receive and um, i want to now give back as much as possible like subscribe comment come join discord uh tell me how you feel about all of this and um 
yeah, I will speak to you in a bit. Wicked, catch you in a bit. <laughs>